Welcome back. Today I've got another Borderlands 2 build for you guys of the Vault Hunter Craig the Psycho. I'll be going over what skills I recommend putting your points into, as well as what guns and gear to use while playing OP10 Craig, and I'll show you some gameplay of him at the end of the video. If you could give us a like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Um, and yeah, let's jump into the build. Alright, so this is the build here. Um, I'll go over all the skills and what they do. Um, we can start off in the Bloodlust tree. So um, we have Bloodfield guns. We've got a magazine size of all weapons increase for each stack of Bloodlust. So every time you gain a stack of Bloodlust, which stacks up to 100 stacks, you gain an increased 2.5% magazine size per stack. So that's quite a lot more um, magazine. You actually end up getting huge mags with all your guns. Um, so you definitely want this point. And we've got Blood Twitch, which is a kill skill. Killing an enemy increases your weapon swap speed for each stack of Bloodlust. The weapon swap speed is 1.5% increase per stack of Bloodlust. Then we've got a Blood Bath, which is a must-have on Krieg. This is... Um, a kill skill, killing an enemy with a grenade or an explosive explosion increases gun damage for each stack of bloodlust. Um, enemies killed with this way have a greater chance of dropping grenade ammo. So weapon damage is increased by 5% per stack and grenade drop chance is 150%. Um, boiling blood increases the time before bloodless stack starts to decay stacks hold time by 2.5 percent so it just increases your bloodless stacks before they decay nervous blood um, kill skill killing an enemy increases your reload speed for each stack of bloodlust um, the reload speed is 1.5 percent per stack of bloodlust then we have blood explosion definitely want to grab this one as well Killing an enemy causes them to explode an elemental nova matching the element of the gun that killed it. So if you killed it with fire, then it will match to fire. If you kill it with a non-elemental gun, it will create a no a explosive nova, etc. The nova damage is increased for each stack of bloodlust. So the more bloodlust stacks, uh, the more damage is up. So you pretty much just want to keep a up your bloodlust stack to 100 at all times which there's easy ways to do this with certain guns or a grenade or two um, as well, which I'll talk about later. Any overkill damage is also added to the damage caused by an elemental Nova damage. Nova damage is increased by 5% per stack. So overkill damage is when you kill an enemy, the um, extra bit of damage that after you've killed the enemy... Um, increases the damage of the elemental nova so if you hit an enemy for an extra one mil um and they've died you deal an extra one million damage on the elemental nova or whatever extra damage after you've killed that enemy um, just gets added on to the damage then we've got in mania we have this is mainly his like i think it's melee build tree yeah that's what i'd call it so you can do a melee build with him as well but i won't be going over this i can do a um video on that for you guys if you want um so we've got feed the meat increases max health and shield recharge delay max health is increased by 50 percent and recharge delay by 2.5 seconds embrace the pain increases fire rate while your shields are down it just additionally increases the delay before your shields start to recharge so fire rate is increased by 35% and the shield recharge delay is plus 5 um, seconds. Then this is a must have as well, thrill of the kill. Um, this also is a overkill damage. So again, you kill an enemy, the excess damage that you would normally do gets uh, put back into your health or whatever. So a percentage of the overkill damage, damage that is over and above what was needed to kill the enemy, is returned to you as health. The lower your health, the higher the percentage. So with the class mod, this gives you a 100% return of overkill damage dealt as health. So this is um, one, one of two, I think this is like two skill points that heal you 
Um, there might be another one, but yeah, this one is definitely a must-have great healing skill. There are two skill points I'll recommend using, which is Strip the Flesh. This is for if you're using like a Carnage or a uh, Explosive um, build, which you can change if you want. Um, so this increases Explosive Damage by 15% and Fight for Your Life bonus by 15% at plus 5 and then you want to get um, Salt the Wound, which increases your melee and shotgun damage for each stack. So the stack of damage is 5% per stack for the shotgun damage, and the max stack is 20, which will decay um, after a short time without taking um, damage from enemies. And yeah, that's the Mania Tree, and then we've got the Hellborn Tree. Um, so Burn Baby Burn. Burn damage increased effects further increased while you're on fire. Uh, it has a chance to light yourself on fire when igniting an enemy, so burn damage is increased by 35%. Additional on fire bonus by 75% and self ignite chance by 35%. Definitely want to get this. Then we've got fuel the fire, which is a kill skill. Killing an enemy increases your chance of causing elemental effects um, elemental effect chance is 400 percent and self-ignite chance is a 70 percent with the class mod boosting it then we've got pain as power i would definitely want to pick this one up so it increases gun damage for all gun types except sniper rifles and decreases critical hit damage with all enemies while increasing melee damage so the effects further while you're on fire and this increases your weapon damage by a straight 25%. And then while you're on fire, your gun damage is increased by an extra 50%. So you'd end up dealing an extra 75% um, more damage while on fire. Um, but yeah, maybe don't use this if you're wanting to use some type of sniper with Craig. Or go for something for like critical hits. Whatever, as this will just negate the damage um, done. <clears throat> Maybe you could put your points into a different skill, like Strip the Flesh or Salt the Wound or whatever. Um, that is up to you. Then I have a singular point in Fire Fiend. This is just a leftover point. So if a certain class mod uh, that I don't think I have, it might be a blue one, um, you can get this to plus six. Um, this increases your weapon accuracy, reload speed, and melee ignite chance. So melee attacks have a chance to ignite enemies as well. And this is all while you're on fire. Delusional damage. Um, all elemental statics effects you inflict have a chance to light yourself on fire. Elemental elation. While elemental statics effects damage is being done to enemies, you gain stacks of elemental elation. Fire rate, magazine size is increased for each stack of elemental elation. Stacks will not decay while you are on fire. So the stacks are 3% fire rate per stack, 5% increased magazine size per stack, and your max stacks is 20. Then we've got numbers nerve. Definitely want to pick this up as well. All damage received is reduced by a flat 50%. So that's half damage done to you while you're on fire so you just negate 50 half the damage while you're on fire um, and then you can put the rough rider shield on here is it and this will decrease damage by 20 percent as well while increasing your max health so you can negate 70 percent of incoming damage while you're on fire um, but you won't have a shield but you have a uh, further kill and a, another healing skill. Then I've got Flame Flare. Increase the duration of all burn effects on you. Each time you apply a burn effect to an enemy, there's a chance another burn effect will be applied after a short time. So the duration of the burn is increased by 100%, so that's double. And then Reignite Chance is 75%. Then we have got Elemental Empathy, another good healing skill. Percentage of elemental static effects damage done to enemies heal you, and the healing done is 25%. And 
Raving Retribution while you're on fire, taking damage from enemies will spawn homing balls of fire that seek you out, the attacker, and explode on impact. Fires can only trig fireballs can only trigger once per second. And yeah, that's the build. And we can jump over to the guns. Guns I'll recommend using, just like will be the slag of slag enemies. Hellfire, absolutely love this gun on Craig. Just shreds people while you have your um all your flame stacks and kill skills and everything on. Just absolutely decimates like most of the mobbing. Then we've got a blockhead. Um this is just a great shock flame shotgun on Craig. Um and a flame north fleet just in case you get down you can spam the shit out of this and get yourself back up. You run out of ammo, chuck on a sham shield and a low level Logan's gun and then you have infinite rocket ammo while you shoot yourself. Flame of the Firehawk. This is his, definitely his must like go to shield, that and the Rough Rider. Um, you can use other shields like the antagonist and stuff are good, but his two go-to shields I would have to say is the Flame of the Firehawk and the Rough Rider. Um, so this is a Nova damage shield. So while your shield's down, you'll just do Nova damage. Um, it's real good. Then we've got the Reaper, which is essentially his... I reckon it's his best class mods. Other people might have different preferences, but I would say the Reaper... See and the, the Torch the are his go-to class mods. Then there's a couple of blue class mods. I've got one of them here. There might be one or two others. Something to do with fire damage. Um, that are also good on him as well. Then we've got the Pandemic. Which is for keeping your stacks of bloodlust blood up to 100. So you just throw this at like 2 to 3. Probably like 3 enemies when you run in a room. And then the damage over time just gives you blood bloodlust stacks, and then yeah, that should get you up to a hundred bloodlust stacks, like real quick. You can also use the stormfront if you don't have this um, grenade. That's an alternative, which um, yeah, that does your uh, bloodlust stacks. And the third. Thing that you can do is grab a infection pistol which I don't have um, which is a uh, yeah it's a DLC weapon um, that does corrosive damage that will also um, give you bloodlust stacks then I've got a bone to the ancients for the increased accelerary damage cooldown rate doesn't really matter then we'll go to the top We've got the peak opener. This is just great on every character. Toothpick, um, just a decent dull flame weapon. Um, also good if you want to farm top nears with the um, rainbow shield that increases your um, reload speed, uh, your movement speed while having toothpick in your hand. Um, practical interface of flame. Uh, this is just really great shotgun on him. The only thing is, is that it just eats your ammo. Then we've got the casual carnage for the explosive shotgun build, which you can pair this with strip the flesh and salt the wound. Um, and we've got a flame butcher, unkept herald for the explosive build, a flame baby maker. Low level Logan's gun for regenerating rocket ammo with your sham shield. Flame conference call. Explosive butter boom for the explosive build. Um, you can use snipers on him, but I would, if you're going to use snipers on him, I would take pain as power off because this doesn't increase anything to do with snipers. And it decreases your critical hit damage, which you want to be hitting crits with your snipers. So if you're going to use a sniper on Krug, take Painter's Power off. It's a waste of time having that one on. Um, then we've got Top Nears. This obviously isn't the god roll, but Top Nears are good on him. You can also get a uh, E-Tech um, Javelin Throwing Rocket Launcher, which I don't have. I'm still trying to find it um, in the chests. Flame Sandhawk, uh, Flame Hail, Grog Nozzle for healing and slag, 
Kitten, Heartbreaker, um, Bone to the Ancient, Shock and Corrosive, and then the Blood of the Ancients for just to make yourself a bit tankier with the increased max health and gives you extra launcher max ammo and shotgun max ammo. So this would be good for the Javelin build. Then we have the Sheriff's Badge. Uh, elemental Relic for Explosive Damage, 42% for the Explosive Build. Uh, the Psycho Class Mod Sickle for the Melee Build. Burn um, Damage 1, so you can either use this or the Reaper, both of them are good. And then a Flesh Crunch for the Explosive um, Build as well. Then we have the Crossfire. Um, fastball, I would definitely use this on Craig, the Flame one, it's so good on him. Um, Stormfront, if you can pick this up from someone, this is a modded one, someone dropped me, it just absolutely decimates everything. Um, other fastball, Stormfront, I've already been over that, it's just another good blood, blood, um, lust stacking, um, grenade. Chain Lightning for healing with the Grog Nozzle, Magic Missile for slagging, Antagonist for the Hyperius fight with the Hydro or Quad Shotguns, Sham Shield for regenerating rocket ammo, B just for damage but I don't really use them, and a Rough Rider Shield. Then in my stash I've got a Nirvana which is pretty much the same as the Hellfire, Interfaces, Butcher, Casual Flacker, Conference Call, you want to slag one for the uh, Raid Boss and the Commander Lilith DLC to slag him. Um, North Fleets, Lyudas, different Top Nears, Sincero for taking off Pyrapete's Helmet and getting through the Shield of the Chief in the Veracitous fight. Lady Fists, uh, Pimpernel, Sandhawk, Hydra for the Hyperius fight, and a Mouthwash. Also recommend the, I think it's the Retainer Shield, I have it on one of my other characters, um, just for farming like top nears and stuff, and the Riffering Deep. And then yeah, I'll show you some gameplay. So what I would do in any like OP-10, you're running for a whole bunch of enemies, I would put the slagger on, Hellfire's usually my go-to, the blockhead's decent, and the Norfleet just for getting yourself up, or if you just want to spam a room of rockets. Um, my other go-to guns would be the Conference Call, Hail, Kitten, and Heartbreaker are pretty good. Um... And the peak open is just overall great as well, and the interfacer. The only thing is it just eats your ammo. So yeah, what you want to do is... Hang on. So you want to throw these out. Oh, game's a little bit laggy. I love your blood! Throw your pandemic Blast out and then your stats go up. And then once you get to a hundred. Once you've got your other stats up, you just absolutely decimate everything. Spam the bolt load if you want. And then once you get down, spam the Easy kill. Block it. No slag. 
Pull your pandemic out if you get down again. Switch to your north fleet. Oh. Oh no, I might not get up. Oh, god damn it. So yeah, I'll run through that again. Should have reloaded my North Fleet. I was trying to show you guys that once you get down, then you can just pop out your um, North Fleet. It didn't go as exactly as I planned it. Yeah, I'll quickly run back. My game seems to be all glitchy in here and it doesn't look right. Don't know why. Yeah, I'll swap my weapons so I can show you guys the other ones. So the interfacer um, and the hail as well. So yeah, first thing you want to do throw your pandemic so Conference call. Um, show you the kitten as well and the <laughs> and yeah. So all these guns are viable. And they just absolutely just decimate any enemies on OP But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you could like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. And if there was any other videos um, you'd like me to go over, or any other characters or whatever, or Borderlands 3 stuff, um, just hit me down in the comments and um, I can make some more video for you guys. I'll be doing Borderlands 3 videos soon, and I'll be posting some raid boss kills with uh, some of the Vault Hunters as well. So yeah. These are the weapons that I would use on him, um, and that's the build there. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.